So very good afternoon, myself Dr. Sandeep Tripathi. Today, I'll discuss about the concept of power propounded by contemporary political philosopher C.B. Macpherson. As we know that uh, C.B. Macpherson is a contemporary philosopher. And of course, he does not believe the classical notion of power. Even he does not believe that the power that has been defined by the Machiavelli and Arnold's Machiavelli to Hobbes until John Stuart Mill. Even the Marxism notion of power and the feminist notion of power, which both two schools, Marxist school of uh, political thought and feminist school of political thought, uh, both schools strongly believe that uh, power is uh, deeply rooted in structure. However, before that, uh, Machiavelli and Hobbes strongly believes that the power is ability. Ability to achieve something from others. It produces a capacity to influence others. And this kind of interpretation is defined by Hannah Arendt initially that this is the power over. And now the same school of thought followed by the C.B. Macpherson. C.B. Macpherson says that uh, this is the power over. The ability to extract benefits from other is not somehow the concept of So what is the concept of power according to C.B. Macpherson? According to C.B. Macpherson, the, there is two types of the power. One is extractive power and second is developmental power. So let me explain first this extractive power. What is extractive power? As the term denotes it's able to is extract something. So to extract something from others, you have to extract what? extract benefit to extract benefit from others it is it is the notion of power your ability to achieve something from others this is the notion of power which is defined the concept of power by Machiavelli in Hobbes uh, and even international politics by bargain power. And Marxist notion of thought, thought says that it is the power, this kind of power is deeply rooted in structure, which he describes as a class. And feminist uh, notion of uh, power describes that uh, this kind of power is root, deeply rooted in a structure like patriarchy. So initially the power had been defined either by individual or by structure. We can say this is agency versus structure. Either individual or structure, ability to create something, to create influence over. And this is somehow the definition of power. But to C.B. Macpherson, this is not at all the power. It is not the intellectual careless, carelessness. And it didn't evolve overnight. This is the real point to C.B. Macpherson. It has not evolved overnight. It was a calculative step. It was a strategic calculation. And that is why he says that this is the 
outstanding attributes of market society. This is a clear description of market society. So the power relation that has been defined by in, in a classic sense, this is a clear description of the attributes of the market society. Where those who those who do not own land and capital, they may be ordinary people, and those who believe, those who own land and capital, basically, they, in real sense, they enjoy the power, they exercise the power. Because here the power, the concept of power, the description of power is power over. Power to whom? Power to over. Dusreki. So it has become clear that the classical notion of power is somehow uh, attributes of the market. Here, what you have, here individual's capacity does not matter at all. Here individual's manual or intellectual capacity, yeah, capability, yeah, ability does not make any sense. Because this kind of capacity ability is used for the microsite, is used for the owning class. Those who control the land and capital. So in that sense, there is no meaning, there is no meaning of capability of the ordinary man, ordinary people. And that is why he has produced a very fascinating idea, something which is you know, constructive notion of power, something which is new, something which really establishes the notion of power. And for which C.V. Macpherson says, <coughs> this is developmental power. According to C.V. Macpherson, this is somehow developmental power with the ability to use for the for the development of oneself. For example, if a person that has a degree of IIT, sorry, degree of BTEC from IIT, and he is an engineer, if he if his intellectual capacity will be used for the benefit of own self, that's good. That is the real power. If he establishes industry, if he establishes some kind of business, if his own capacity will be used for the own development, that is the development of power. But according to See, Macpherson, in extract to concept of power, your capacity is not used for you. Your ability is not for you. Your manual intellectual worth will be used for others because we should not forget this fact that the initial, the, uh, the classical notion of power is, uh, says to extract something, to, in, to create influence. So ordinary people cannot create influence. Influence only can be created by the owning class, those who control the land and capital. So according to C.B. Macpherson, in developmental power, each individual will be emerge as a doer and creator because his own capacity will be used for the self development. And this is the real power, according to C. Macpherson. 
So in this way, we can see that uh, he has classified the two concepts of the power. First, destructive power. The second is developmental power. According to C.B. my person, developmental power is the real power because here individual is benefit for his own uh, intellectual or manual capability and his intellectual or manual capacity will not be used for others, for others enjoy, for others benefit. And this is how uh, uh, created, this is how something created the notion of power by the CV backwards. So let's stop here. This is all about the constructive vision of uh, CV backwards. Thank you very much.